Okay, we all set to go? Yeah, she has paper. We all got paper. Alright, nice and big. Don't make anything tiny. This should take up like almost the whole page. This is our class. We're writing class Purchase Calculator Capital P. We are learning a markup language called UML, Unified Markup Language. This is useful to learn because almost every programming language will describe what its code does using figures that are just like what we're learning here. This is not my invention. So I'll actually show you later in the class instances where I'll actually give you this diagram and ask you to code the, the Java to, to represent it. So we're whole thing represents a what? Package. No, not package. Class. class. This is a class diagram. One class, it starts with open curly brace and ends with closing curly brace. This is a standalone program, so it must have a what method? Okay. Register should do. It counts. it counts up what you buy. At the end... There's track, but it's okay, so you can get this much back. So yeah, if you give it uh, cash, before they give you any money, the, the customer, you have to give them a total. In the United States of America, what does that totally, total usually involve? Tax. Tax, unless you live in one of the few choice states without sales tax. Um, oh yes, yes, uh, several. Uh, usually resource rich states like Alaska and Oregon. Um, so we want to write this method, we want anyone to be able to access it, so it's gonna be public. Every method that we're going to write until after spring break will have static in front of it. And I encourage you to read about static, but I'm not going to try to teach it to you because I don't want your heads to explode. But you have a book. It's in there. It's not a secret. I just need to pace us. Public static void, and then let's say calculate total with tax. That's what it's going to do. So this is our name. Calculate, oh, sorry, lowercase. Calculate total with tax. Now, what we're working on is this parentheses. If this method is going to calculate our total with tax, what does it need to know? What sales tax is? It needs to know what the sales tax is, is. and it needs to know what the total is. So we're going to start super simple and we're just going to give it the total. We will assume that this method will know what the sales tax is. Normally, uh, actually Monday and Wednesday of next week we'll figure out how to do this in a more Java-like way. So what we're going to do is when we write this method, we're going to tell the compiler, this method requires a piece of data. We have to tell it what about that data? Always in Java. The type, the type of information that it's going to, the form it's going to take. And then we're going to create a little compartment, a temporary box in which to store the data that's passed in. Okay, so I'm going to adjust my, my box so it'll be a little bit bigger. So I'm going to, what type of number will that price usually probably be? It would be a double because it could have a decimal. So we're going to write double. Okay. So we've made our, this is what we're going to call a local variable because only code inside that method can access it. It's local to the method. And so what's the, how do we get, um, let's have this method needs to store the, the tax. So let's make that a constant inside the variable. What form, if we're doing math with tax, what form of number should it be? Like if it's a 15, if it's a 7% sales tax, how do we represent that in math? 0.07. Is it 0 0.07 or 0 0.7? 0.07. Yep, so this is the decimal version. So let's say double, uh, it's going to be final double what do we want to call this? Tax. Tax. And then we're going to add the value right away. So 0 
and now we want to print out whatever the value is that represents the total price. So we're going to need a... Um, we will eventually ask the user, but right now we're just doing math on whatever the variable, whatever is passed in. This method's job is only to calculate the total with tax. Okay? So it has to be given the total. So then let's make a temporary variable called uh, total price. Not temporary, a local variable. Double total price. And then we can just be efficient about this. How do we calculate the tax on a value come in? We want to take, we need to find out what 7% of it is and add it to the original value. So we can multiply by what, so if the, the price is $100, what's the tax going to be? What's the total price going to be? Uh, or in this case, we could say 100 times tax plus what? 0.07 plus 1. So that this becomes 1.07. If you multiply 100 by 1.07, we get... We're adding 1 because we want to get the whole 100 plus 7% of that 100. So the 1 represents the 100% and the 0 0.07 represents the 7%. So the tax, the total price will be what? 100 times 1.07. You got this. Yes. 107. So once we get total price, let's calculate that on the right side of this equal sign because we want to calculate it here, store it in total price, and then spit it out. That's our going here. So we're going to say... Is that double total price? Yep, because it's going to store a double value. Double. 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 How'd you say it? Double. 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 I like double better. Uh, so total price equals price whatever was passed in as the price times one plus what? Tax. Tax. Cool. I'm glad we're doing this by hand. I want you to get in the habit of thinking through this before jumping in. Um, for some people, you will get to a point where writing the Java will come naturally. But until the Java comes naturally, you want to be able to get things down on paper and erase and think through this. Now, normally we won't write code by hand, but at least we want to sketch out uh, how it's going to work. And then finally, we want to just print out what? The total price. Yeah, so I'm just going to make note, print total price. This is like where pseudocode gets mixed in. I'm not going to write system.println and do all the parentheses because I could easily convert this into Java. This I wanted, to, we got to think about that math, so that's good that we did that by hand. Okay, so if we code this up and we run it, what will happen? Anything? No. Let's get to that point. Why, hasn't, why won't anything happen? We don't know price. That's half the answer. We didn't tell it to. We didn't call it up and say, "Hey, go do your thing." So let's go ahead and code this puppy up. So.